Hi everyone, it's Tony Lyons. Uh, I'm going to be bringing you a really quick one today. Um, these are kind of just utility nodes, um, but I always see them on online as expressions or TCL expressions, and uh, I figured just would make them into a quick node, and uh, I use them quite a bit for when I do comparisons to other shots and stuff, so let me just get into it. Uh, this node is called the label from read, and it basically just takes the tail end of the file name and displays it uh, in, in kind of like an overlay and it includes the frame number and extension it's really just the, the after the slash part of the end of the file name and yeah it's uh, automatic you can have a description too so if you just type in a description like if you have um, pending review or something or if you're trying to match someone else's uh, look dev, you say uh, look dev approved or something like that. And if you have a contact sheet uh, with all these, then you can you know match to some of them. Uh, so some other settings are just the text color. You can increase the border size so you get a bit nicer borders um, in case you need to put it over something white. Um, yep, just an overall size, a Y position, and a mix in case you need that. So say you had a bunch of shots and you needed to review, uh, I would copy and and if you don't have W Hotbox, you should definitely go down on that right now by uh, Voltor Gilsync. And uh, here it is here. It's just like Maya's um, spacebar menu and allows you to execute a bunch of Python commands and stuff. So I was just using the uh, paste to selection that he's got on by default. So again, it's awesome. Go download it if you don't have it. and. Um, Something that I've been using uh, lately is uh, a, an automatic contact sheet, and I sort of picked that up from Ben McEwen. Yeah, his blog is awesome, and his newsletter is great, so if you're not subscribed to him, definitely go subscribe to him, and I'll put a link to this Power Up Your Contact Sheets uh, in the video and in Nukopedia and everything. Um, I made a, just using a tutorial, made this automatic contact sheet that basically... Uh, will reformat itself um, accordingly exactly how you would want to have it. If you just keep on plugging inputs, you can see what it's doing. It's just kind of automatically updating with uh, trying to keep the image as square as possible while displaying all the images. So yeah, I would just select the contact sheet and uh, click Y on all these label from reads. And there you have it. You have an overlay. Um, maybe you have some sequences you're trying to match and uh, maybe you would say this one is match to this. And then you'll know that this is the shot that you want to match to. And this works better when you have um, a sequence of shots that are all very similar and you're, you're trying to balance them all out and or match them to a specific shot. And you just want to display the basic info and maybe have a little description. So both the contact sheet auto, which uh, is definitely just basically from Ben, but I think on Nukipedia I saw that it was just a Python file and not a node. Yes, here. And a Python file, not a node. So maybe I'll upload this. I just called it contact sheet auto, but yeah, it's basically just um, uh, Ben's tutorial. Um, it does have this awesome uh, resolution slider, which was a good idea because it uh, sometimes gets too big if you have a, a million things plugged in. So you can just, you know, act actively reduce the size of it and reduce calculations when you are playing back. And there we go. You can watch all your shots playing back. And yeah, this is just a kind of two easy nodes that are uh, pretty good for when you need to make a contact sheet and compare a bunch of shots together and uh, maybe you're matching a sequence or whatever. So yeah, enjoy.